Alright guys, so we're just going to have a quick chat about stability, basis, support and center of gravity. Uh, this is our first biomechanical principle that we're going to be talking about today. Um, now when we talk about stability, basis, support and center of gravity, obviously stability is the act of being stable. So, um, sturdiness, solid, solidity and strength. Um, if we have a look at the pictures below, uh, have a think about what this means. Uh, if we have a look at the images, we've got some gridiron blockers. Okay. Their role is to be strong and stable so that people cannot get past them in the defensive line. So therefore, their ability to hold space or hold the ground. Uh, obviously, we've got the rugby tackle there. When you're performing a rugby tackle, you need to be strong and stable. And uh, the last one is a lady doing a plank on a Swiss ball. Uh, obviously, ability to be stable. She's got good strength. Uh, she's very sturdy and she's pretty solid in that position. Uh, so that's a little bit about stability. Cool. So when we're talking about stability and obviously balance, there is three parts we need to think about. Um, basis support, which is also BOS or BOS. Uh, your center of gravity, which is COG or COG. And line of gravity, which is your LOG log. Um, so you'll see those abbreviations throughout sometimes. Um, the key sentence that we remember is to keep your base of support of support inside so there's your base of support right there okay keep your base of support nice and wide and then from here you need to make sure that your center of gravity stays inside that position over there now as soon as that starts to move outside of that base of support that's when we lose our balance so pretty simple Keep your COG inside your BOS and you're going to be stable. If you look below down over here, you guys will see an example of base of support where we've got two feet and obviously the base of support is the invisible line that we have around that. And it's all the points of contact on the floor. So think about what that would look like for the sprint start in terms of obviously you have the people's knees and feet and possibly their hands as well. How much is that going to increase their base of support? Uh, if we look at the next image over here, we have center of gravity uh, and we have three different positions. If we all remember our center of gravity when we're standing up is around our belly button. It does change and shift around a little bit. And the most important part to know is the center of gravity shifts and it's the point at which the body is balanced in all directions. So the last few slides, how do we apply this to physical activity? Obviously, to produce quality of movement or execute skills, we need to be balanced and stable. If you look at this example over here, he's fallen over into the pool. Obviously, his center of gravity is over here now. His base support is there. Therefore, the line of gravity is traveling through the base, center of gravity to the base support. It's well outside of the area, therefore he's unstable and he falls into the pool. Last of all, obviously it's important to make sure that we have uh, a good level of stability because otherwise if we didn't we would obviously lose our accuracy, our control and our power if we were unstable during movements. So I'll ask you a question just to wrap it up quickly. What are the three main parts of stability? We have your base of support, your center of gravity, and your line of gravity. And your line of gravity. All right. How do they work together to ensure we are stable? Well, as long as you keep your center of gravity inside your base of support, then you're going to remain balanced as soon as that starts moving outside that's when you have issues unstable what is the key sentence that I mentioned in this about your basis support and line of gravity keep your center of gravity inside your basis support and you'll be remain balanced and stable Last of all, what happens to our performance if we're unstable? 
Well, if we're unstable, that means that we're not going to be able to execute the skill as well. We're going to lose our accuracy and our power, and also uh, we might end up falling over.